In previous videos, we looked a bit at time. We checked uh, time dot in variables also. In previous videos, we looked a bit at time. We checked uh, time dot in variables. Also, we looked at uh, time input that allows you to get input from the user as a time. Mm -hmm. But in this video, let's look into details at like time format and some functions that can help you to work with time in Pinescape. So first of all, let's check uh, time format. And as I said to you before, this is actually like a Unix format. And it represents number of milliseconds that passed from 1st of January 1970. And of course, it's not very convenient to work this way. It's really hard to understand what it exactly what is the time, what is the date from here. So there are a bunch of functions that can help you to work with that. So there is a bunch of functions I call it like a time components functions. And you can pass your variable to this function and they will output you like components of, um, of, of, of your time variable. So in here you have, for example, a year. So now it's 2021 month so for your current variable your month is 12 uh, week of the year will output you number of the week in the current year so current week is 50th in this year also you can get the of the months uh, hour minute and second and because i'm using here time now built-in variable you can see that uh, this variables changes for me unfortunately there is no functions to add or subtract time uh, from your time variables in Pinescript. But because this is actually underneath, it's like just an integer variable, what you can do, you can just add, uh, you know, like some amounts of milliseconds, and this way you can kind of simulate uh, adding and subtracting time. So here, for example, I have some examples. So basically you can take like time now variable or any variable you want, and you can add a thousand to it, and you will get uh, like time plus one second and also you can do the same but add a thousand multiplied by 660 and this will add like one minute to your time and the same if you will multiply it by 60 again you will get your time plus one hour and so on and so on so you can see for example here I add one day to my time and here in the last uh, example I subtract one day the same way I just basically can just do the, like a minus and this will work fine for that case as well. Here on the right, I have a few more interesting functions. So first one is timestamp function. And what it allows you to do is actually can transform like human readable uh, representation of time into internal Unix format you can use inside Pine scripts. And there, quite a lot of different ways of using these functions and let's look at main of them. So first of all, you can just uh, call timestamp and here you can pass your year, months, uh, day, hours and uh, minutes. And this will output you like a timestamp in a Unix format that you can use um, in, your, in your script uh, to compute something. And also you can do pretty much the same, but as a first variable you can specify like what time zone do you want uh, this day to be in? And here, for example, I'm using uh, like a current time zone of my chart. And um, um, in the next example here, for example, I already using GMT plus six. And as you can see, I get different, uh, uh, different timestamp, which is logical. And also you can actually use timestamp not with like a bunch of parameters, but just pass like a string to uh, this, uh, this function and just to use like dates in different formats. And one of them you can like pass like your like a month's uh, date, year, and after that hours, minutes, seconds, on you can put a year, a month's date, and after that, you know, hours, minutes, seconds, or you can see, you can do this even this way, like date, uh, day, a month, a year, after that, uh, hours, minutes, seconds, after you can specify like that time zone you want this date to be in. So you can see quite a lot of examples, uh, check documentation. Um, but I think to be sure that PyScript parse your uh, script uh, in the right way, you can just have to use like timestamp with um, 
put it like on top format like here and uh, this way you should be you will be sure that it's parsing it correctly and the last function i want to talk in this video is time function uh, time function actually is quite interesting uh, so you can um, pass like a time frame you want to look at and it will output you like the open of uh, this bar that correspond to this time frame so here we're currently at five million bars and if i pass like time 60 pinescript will look at the current one hour uh, bar and will output me open for this bar so it's quite handy for some situations moreover you can specify not only time frame but also you can specify a session uh, so for example here i want to display only bars that are between nine o'clock and 2 p.m and uh, if your bar is not in this uh, range it will output you not a number uh, so you can ensure that your this this bar is in, in your time frame and also in addition to that at the third argument you can specify um, time zone you want to look at so here for example i have two identical calls and but here i just changed my time uh, time zone and here i receive like a value but here i didn't so it can be quite handy if you want to create some logic that will work only in certain sessions. I use this function quite a lot.